Okay, so we're now going to look at how we reconnect the car to the trailer. Now obviously, when you reverse the car up to the trailer, the examiner wants you to conduct the safety checks on the actual trailer before you um, connect it. So if there's no point in doing the connection, then working out that there's something wrong with it and it's not road safe or legal, and you have to uh, disconnect it again, okay? So again, the first thing we're going to check before we walk around it, make sure it's not going to roll away. We're going to check the handbrakes on. We're going to give it a good push and we're going to say I'm happy that that trailer's not going to move. Okay? To complete the safety checks, he doesn't want an MOT in the trailer. Okay? All he wants to know is that the main component parts of it, everything that you connect, everything you can touch and see, is uh, in a good condition and it's safe. Okay? So once you've checked it, you're going to start at the nose of the trailer and you're going to work all your way around it. doesn't matter whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise. It's the same thing that's going to happen at both ends. Okay? So we're looking at the hitch first. We're going to check that the hitch and the spring in the cast releases. Okay, some hitches come with a lock on it, so make sure you've got a key that will actually release this because there's a security feature to stop somebody else coming and towing it away. If there's no hitch lock over it, then that won't open. Okay, so I'm happy that my trailer and the cast and the kitchen and everything works properly, it's lifting up and it's releasing. Then I'm going to check the hitch itself for making sure that there's no cracks or deformations or any damage to the actual metalwork. Okay. Then we come to the gator, I'm going to check the gator, make sure that there's no perishing rubber, no leaks, no hydraulic fluid or anything coming out because that runs straight through to the handbrake and the controls for the brakes of the trailer. Okay, everything's cool, the seals are all tight, no problems. Then we're going to take the breakaway cable out, we're physically going to release it and then we're going to start inspecting it. You must tell the examiner that the carabiner, that's this part, and the spring works. Okay, and you're physically going to run your finger along the length of the cable and you're checking that there's no damage, any frays, any fractures or any exposed wires, okay? okay? Physically that you can see. Once you're happy with that and it's in a good working condition, put it through, okay? We're just going to check the quick A-frame, that's the triangular shape at the front. We're looking for deformations, any bent bits, any rust, any abnormalities, it looks good. We're going to check that the handle's okay, everything's secured. We're going to check the jockey wheel, looking for the split pin that it's there. It's intact and straight, and then we're looking at the column, it's straight for the wheel, and that the tyre's in good condition as well. Remember, this is a block of rubber. You may get one that is pneumatic, okay? So you can blow that one up, make sure it's inflated. And you're also going to check that the clamp is tight and that the trailer's not going to drop off, okay? By going down to the ground, if this is not tight and clamped, okay? And then we're going to come to the electrics and we're going to take the adapter out and we're physically going to look in the adapter checking to see that all the pins are there there's no signs of any corrosion or any electrical burning okay we're going to make sure that the adapter turns and then we're going to check the actual condition of the cable running our fingers right along the whole length of the visible part we can see making sure it's not cut or there's any um, slits or exposed electrics. Okay, obviously you're going to want to get water and causing a short circuit on the electrics. Happy with that? Yes. Okay, good. Um, for test purposes, don't walk round the trailer. Uh, sorry, don't cross over the trailer. Walk round it as you go around for health and safety purposes, all right? But because we're just in a wee training exercise, we'll step over just to show you, okay? So the next thing we're going to come to is the actual trailer itself. Uh, we're going to check that the panel is intact. We don't need to go rivet by rivet, okay? Um, just check there's no um, cracks or anything in it. The handle's secure, and then we come to the tyre. Physically touch it. You've got to check that it's properly and tightly secured onto the trailer. It's got sufficient tread all the way around the whole wheel. Minimum 1.6 millimetres across the central three-quarter breadth of the tyre, okay? And around the entire circumference. And there must not be any cuts, bulges or tears on the wall of the tyre. Valve cap's on and the tyre is securely uh, attached to the trailer with the wheel nuts. Happy? Then we come to the front. We're going to check the light and the lens, make sure it's intact, there's no glass fractures or anything breaks in the lens. Physical inspection of the panel, it looks good. You can touch if you want, there's no cracks or damage on it. Happy with that. Mud guard, it's attached, it's tight. Tyre's intact, properly inflated. Tyre trailers, 65 psi. 1.6 mm tread around the entire circumference, three quarters of the bed to the wheel, and the wheel nuts are intact. Okay, do the same thing for the next tyre. Stabilising arms till it's up. Okay, then we come to the back of the trailer. Again, he doesn't want a full MOT, he just wants to know that the doors are shut. Okay, 
you can demonstrate that by giving it a pull. This is a three-way door, so it comes to a, a ramp at the back and also the bifold doors. Okay. Check the split pins are in, so the back of the trailer doesn't fall down. The hinges are secure. The number plate matches the vehicle that you're towing with, and remember that it is removable for security purposes. You can take away it at night. We're going to check that all the door locks are there. They're all shut. All the lights are intact. Lenses are there. Reflectors are there. Light fog light. Uh, light for the number plate, reversing light, reflector, lights, springs and everything are there. It's all good, looks in good condition, yeah? Then we go around, we'll do it the same side, but it's basically the, the same process as what you do. So starting on the other side, you go backwards, stabilising arms in, mudguards are on, tyres are the same condition, mudguards are on, tyres are the same condition, locked up. Then we come to the front, and the last thing you check is the door, so you're going to make sure obviously the door's secure. Uh, Particularly important these days when you're coming through, uh, for example, the Channel Tunnel, if you're a caravan, watch out for stowaways because they're looking at in the groups and that kind of stuff. So make sure that nobody can get in it if you leave it unattended for any length of time. Uh, check the handle, check the light, and then when you come to the front, that should be you pretty much complete. Right? Uh, like I said, it's not an MOT, just a physical inspection to make sure that everything works and you're happy with that. Once you're happy with that, then you can go to the um, state of connecting the car to the trailer. Okay, happy with that? Any questions? Mm -hmm. Perfect.